Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make a very easy and delicious spaghetti and meatball recipe. So first up, uh, you're going to grab a bowl and put some ground meat into it. Here I'm using ground pork. You can use ground turkey, chicken, or beef. It's really your preference. Um, next, you're going to add your chopped up parsley, uh, then some chopped up garlic. Here I'm using whole wheat breadcrumbs. You can use, again, uh, really whatever breadcrumbs uh, that you desire. Uh, then next I'm going to add some shaved Parmesan cheese, some chili powder, um, some oregano, and some chili flakes. Uh, once you're done adding all these ingredients, just give it a really good solid mix, uh, making sure that all the ingredients and the breadcrumbs are absorbed in um, with the meat, and then you're going to start forming your meatballs. All right, so when you start forming your meatballs, you're gonna to wanna to compress the meat in the beginning in between your hands, um, allowing it to really become one solid mass. And as you start rolling, you're gonna to wanna to sort of loosen your grip just so you have a really nice, smooth meatball, and this will prevent any large cracks from running through the center of that meat, uh, which in turn will prevent your meatballs from falling apart as you cook them. Once you're done forming all your meatballs, these are about an ounce and a half a piece. You're going to want to get a large saute pan on high heat with some uh, olive oil in there and then sear your meatballs uh, for about five minutes or so until they turn really nice and golden brown. All right, so once your meatballs have a proper sear on them, you're gonna add some chopped up raw garlic to the pan, uh, give it a few shakes, and then you're gonna add your tomato puree, followed by some salt, pepper, um, some dry oregano, and some brown sugar, and then you're gonna finish it off with some tomato paste and a good helping of olive oil. Uh, give this a few stirs, and then you're gonna let this reduce for a solid hour on low heat. Once your meatballs are done, you're going to have a pot of boiling water going uh, and generously season it with some salt. Drop your spaghetti pasta in there and you're going to cook this for about five to seven minutes until the pasta is nice and al dente. Uh, then you're going to give it a good strain and then coat the pasta in a generous helping of olive oil so that the noodles don't stick together. And then we're going to plate this up. Alright, so when you plate the pasta, just gently lay it on the plate um, using almost like a twisting motion. And this will give the pasta almost like a spiral weaved look and uh, help give it some body as well. Um, after that, you're going to generously spoon some of the sauce over the top of the pasta um, along with the meatballs. And then you're going to generously top all of this with some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And then I like to use uh, some freshly picked uh, basil leaves, uh, just the smaller leaves off of the plant, and it gives it just a beautiful uh, pop of green to uh, this beautiful dish. And all there is to do is enjoy this with your friends and family and have a wonderful dinner. Here you go, my dear. It is a spaghetti and a meatball. Spaghetti and a meatball. Mm. Mmm. Mmm is a good sign so far. Mmm. Mmm. So first I'm gonna get a little pasta. That was a big bite. <laughs> it was, yeah, it takes a while, right? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta commit when you're eating spaghetti and meatballs. You do. This is true. You have to commit. You gotta commit. You, you can't mean, just take like a wimpy bite. You know sometimes I mean? people make meatballs like huge. These are not too big. So I just cut mine in half. And we have leftovers, so I think we should make meatball subs. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Doesn't that sound good? Yeah, it does. Oh my word. So what do you think? I think it's perfect. Pretty good? Yeah, and I love it's like slightly spicy. Yes. I, I make like my meatballs just as, like have a little bit of spice with the chili flake and uh, some mm. chili powder. So mm. I was thinking we should have that moment. What's that movie, that Disney movie where we both like have one end of the spaghetti and Oh, like, the Lady in the Tramp? Yeah. Oh, that'd be we cute. We need to have a Lady in the Tramp movie. And then I like nudge the meatball Aww, over to you. Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah. You know. Probably not going to happen though. Mm -hmm. Well. Good job. Good? Mm -hmm. Two thumbs up? Four stars, Rachel's LA Times article. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Awesome. It was good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know everybody has their like, you know, mama's 
spaghetti recipe. Everybody has their own like tailor-made spaghetti recipe. This is mine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, I'll have the full recipe broken down in written format on my website. So if you guys you know, prefer that, you can go check it out, byrontalbot.com. And uh, I'll see you guys next time with another fantastic recipe. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.